Hello, today I brought the bank and I got the latest device from Great Scott Gadgets. You probably know them already for the Akiref or the Yardstick One or the Great Fets or even the Land Tap. But they have released a new device, the Cintion, a USB protocol analyzer. I will start with an unboxing and then we will do a walkthrough with the documentation to start exploring. The, the box design is following Gret Scott minimalist style. On the bottom of the box, you have a reminder of what the Cintion is. It's an all-in-one tool for building, testing, monitoring, and experimenting with USB device. If you want to follow my journey with USB experiment, stay tuned because I'm total newbie. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure you already know where to find more advanced people out there. There are some safety information and of course, everything is present in the documentation. But for those who want to say too long, I didn't read, I have sum up some of the don't. So don't use a cable more than two meters. Avoid removing the shield from the Cintion. Don't use more than 3.3 volt on the compatible IO connector. Don't connect pass-through power supply more than 20 volt DC. And last point that catch my attention, a device connected to the Cintion must be rated for five volt DC or the device should not draw more than 3 amp from the pass-through power supply or 500 milliamp from the Cintion's power supply. Exceeding these current limits could potentially damage the Cintion or the connected device. For the rest of the instruction, I will say it's professional judgment. On the top of the device, you have the status LID. The left side is how you will interact with the target. The right side is where you connect the target. And if you want to talk to the board, the front view is for you. First thing first, I will start by installing Cintion software with the pip python command to install it. Or hit enter. The Cintion is plugged in, as you can see in the picture here. And I'm going to test the hardware as per the documentation, as always. So the Cintion is detected. That's great. I, of course, hide my serial number. So now we're going to see if there is any update. Okay. So it's up to date. Now what we could do is update all the other parts beside the software. So that's for the microcontroller. You could see the FPGA is going to be flashed. If you already use the great fed, you probably know already face tensor. For the other like me, it's a tool that helps you to implement your own USB device in Python. So Cintion, like the GreatFed, will support it. Then we are going to install it. So for this, you could install from the source or even with pip. So I will do with pip so it's easier for me. Pip install, face dancer. And I will play. Now we are going to run Phase Dancer on the Tintion. So for that, 
we're going to type Sention run face dancer and I will type enter. This will update the SOC firmware and then we have a nice Knight Rider LID. Once the operation is complete, we could check it's OK. And here we see that we have Bitstream Face Dancer installed. Then we're going to run our first script here. So Great Scott Gadgets provide an example over the documentation, which is a short Python file called RubleDoki. For those who don't know, RubleDoki is a USB stick that is programmable. And then we're going to run a particular command. It will type a string which say hello face dancer. We're going to see that in details. The Cintion is connected to a Raspberry Pi idling on this Firefox tab and I'm going to run the script. So you could see it's typing. There are additional examples, not only the rubber docky that we have seen. I might cover the next one in a new video. So there is a FTDI echo. So this one will use a software emulation of FDI USB to serial converter and it will convert input from the terminal to OPPO case and issuing it back to the terminal. And last but not least, the mass storage. Let's say you don't have any USB key, but you have a computer and your Cintion with you. You could then emulate master rage using a raw disk image as an input and present it to the target then it could be mounted but watch out it seems to only work on linux and mac os but that could be really nice and handy then you don't need to buy any expensive usb stick you could just mount any image on your computer and make the transfer but wait there is much more with this USB proxy example and I might cover this in the next video if you are interested. So let me know. Using the Cintion, the Face Dancer script example here and a computer, you could have a wall man in the middle setup, meaning any USB device connected to the host computer will be proxied to a target host, meaning you could do protocol analysis and live manipulation of USB packets. I hope this video has inspired you to explore USB hacking. If you have any additional resources or ID for experimenting with USB, I would love to hear about them. Thank you for watching and stay tuned.